We're so happy that you're here today for the Certified Angel Card Reader class. This is something that is our favorite thing to teach. It's 100% about cards. It's 100% about you and 100% about taking your confidence in your natural spiritual gifts to the next levels, not even level, but levels. Our intention for you is that you will be able to give readings that have a lot more detail, really accurate, that bring blessings to everyone involved, and that you will feel really good about doing this sort of work. We're going to show you some practical ways where you could make this a full-time or part-time career if you wanted to. But definitely giving card readings is a wonderful way to get answers for yourself, your loved ones, and of course your clients. I'm hearing from the angels, there's some professional readers already here. So this is something to add to your toolbox if you're already doing healings and readings. It's, it's good to be eclectic, I think, to learn as many things as possible. Um, one of the things I want to tell you is that we are going to give you our truths, our experiences. If it resonates with you, if it clicks, great. If anything we're saying doesn't click as your own truth, great. At least we've <laughs> helped you to find your own truth. We're not here to convince or convert or talk anyone into our methods. We're simply here to show it to you. And if it is something that is helpful to you and your clients, then we've done our job whether it triggers you know, something in you that's a different way or you try our way. To get certified, we also need to everyone to participate in all the readings, even those of us who are socially shy. <laughs> and yes, I am shy. I know it seems weird that a professional speaker would be socially shy, but they made me do this. And now that I'm doing it, I like it. But I'll tell you what, I was kicking and screaming when they first told me I was going to be doing this. This was not my idea at all. I, I didn't wake up you know, as a child going, oh, I want to be on stage. It wasn't like that for me. It's, it's, it's that I want to share and bring blessings, and that means that I'm in front of people. But a lot of us who grew up feeling different, a lot of us who are sensitive earth angels, who feel like we were just dropped off on this planet and who have been teased for being weird or different or told we're too sensitive or something's wrong with us, we develop social phobias. And we also are extremely sensitive to energy. And so when we're put into a room full of other people, even clean energy people, it sometimes can be a little distracting. Well, we're here to help you with all of that today because we're, we understand because we too are extremely sensitive and... You're sensitive too, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I want to introduce my illustrious stage partners here. <laughs> my honey, Michael David Robinson. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. And Radley Valentine. Hey, hey. <laughs> and of course, you know me, I'm Doreen. I'm just, I'm real casual, just call me Doreen. This is a good class, whether you're a beginner, whether you're intermediate or advanced. We've got something for everyone. Right, Radley? We do. We do. We, um, um, we've never found anyone who's taken the class who hasn't absolutely been enriched by the experience. What we're doing today is entirely safe. Divination tools go back to ancient times. In the Bible, they talk about casting lots and stones to decide when to move, when to do different events for scheduling, etc. And today we're going to be working with the angel cards of all different varieties. Did everyone get a deck of cards? Good. And if you're watching this at home, because you know we are making a DVD today, if you're watching this at home, make sure you've got a deck of angel cards with you. Okay? And you're going to be getting a lot of messages. Some of these uh, readings you can take pictures of. You know, if, you're, if your phone has a camera, you can take pictures of them or take notes. So you'll want that today. Well, let's go ahead and take out the cards. And I want to let you know that you can do this. I want to let you know everyone can do this. We all have an ego, and our ego doesn't want us to get in touch with our spiritual gifts. So your ego is going to try and tell you that you, you're the one person who can't do this. 
but it's not true. You can definitely do this. And some people might have fears about what other people were thinking, you know. Some people might have fears about, you know, religious fears. Is this okay to do? And I certainly understand that myself being a Christian. I, you know, pray before doing everything to make sure that it's in alignment with the Lord. And what I always focus on is Apostle Paul's words where he in Corinthians where he says, that we all have spiritual gifts, that we should aspire to use our spiritual gifts as long as they're used in the name of love. And so that's our, our pure intention with these divination tools, is that they're used in the service of God's will, of bringing more peace and more love to this planet. And that's it. It's not for a personal gain. If, it's, if you use it for employment, I mean, that's simply to get support to help more people. It's not about egocentric um, goals. We all understand the difference, right? 